Hi guys, it's Jess from Jess is Blessed, and I have been busy collecting cloth diapers, doing a fundraiser of cloth diapers for Hurricane Harvey uh, families affected by the hurricane, uh, for families that have lost their cloth diapers or that would like to cloth diapers so that they don't have to spend the precious amount of money that they do have on disposables. Meanwhile, the Red Cross is apparently down there turning families away that are diapering families, families with infants. So I have been getting a lot of flack. My fundraiser has been shared by Ecoable and by Nora's Nursery on their Facebook pages, possibly on their Instagram or Twitter. I'm not sure. I don't follow those accounts as closely. Uh, and I've been getting a lot of flack by people saying, why in the world would you send cloth diapers down there? And people can't cloth diaper. They don't have, um, they don't have clean water to do so right now. And just been getting a lot of negative comments. People saying, you know, you should only be sending disposable diapers. And that's all that people need. That's all people want. Why in the world would you send cloth diapers? You should be sending disposable diapers or be sending money to the Red Cross. I've had several people say that. Now let me tell you why I am not sending money to the Red Cross. Let me tell you why I am collecting cloth diapers and collecting donations myself and sending them down there myself because I know exactly where every dollar will be spent and exactly where those diapers will go. There is a story that I just read on Facebook by a volunteer down there in Texas who went to a shelter, to a Red Cross shelter to volunteer. And I'll leave a link to the story down in the comments so that you guys see that this, I'm not just making it up. She said that she walked in and immediately was told that there was only 30 volunteers that day or they only needed 30 volunteers. And she was a little put off by that at first but thought, okay, maybe they have enough volunteers, you know, Maybe they've had enough volunteers for the day. Uh, maybe they don't need any more. And so she did her shift or whatever. Uh, she was leaving or something Something happened to where she noticed there was a large amount of empty cots, empty beds in the shelter. And she asked, why? Why are there so many empty beds when there's people that need them? And she was told that it was because they didn't take families with infants, the elderly, or single people. And she again inquired why. And they said because people with infants left too much of a diaper mess. Too much of a diaper mess. And the elderly, I believe they said was too much work and then there was no reason for the singles. I'm assuming it's because they don't feel like single people need as much assistance as families. But basically they have this big screening criteria to let people into the shelters. So here's people telling me to donate money and diapers to the Red Cross. And yet they're down there and they're not even letting people that diaper into their shelters. So why in the world would I donate money to the Red Cross? And another person said that they came over the radio, the Red Cross came over the radio and said they were not accepting donations anymore, that they had more than enough and that they were throwing everything away that came in because they didn't need it, didn't want it, didn't have room for it, whatever. Meanwhile, there's people posting up saying that they there's no disposable diapers in the stores. Like that one person said there was one package of diapers in the Walmart, in the local Walmart. One package of diapers, of disposable diapers. And so here's all these people thinking that the Red Cross is this noble, amazing organization, and maybe they do. I mean, I, I'm not gonna discredit that they probably do do good things here and there. But this story has me livid, especially because of all of the comments and people telling me that I should be donating what I have or donating the money to the Red Cross instead of trying to help in the way that I am. So I just wanted to make this video. I wanted to expose it. I wanted more people to hear. I wanted more people to hear the truth. I wanted more people to know 
what is going on and then maybe more people would be willing to help out in my cause when you really see that there there's a lot of families that want these cloth diapers every day I'm getting messages and I'm getting emails from people asking about these diapers please how do I get the diapers can I please get some diapers there's more than I can even get to and I only have enough diapers and funds to ship maybe maybe 10 families diapers maybe 10 so you know I know everyone's so quick to send the Red Cross money but maybe think about it or maybe just do a little bit of research before you send them money so this is my short video about the Red Cross and if you guys would like to donate diapers to my cloth diaper fundraiser there will be uh, my email address in the comments and you can email me to set up how to do that And also a link to my GoFundMe uh, for the fundraiser also down in the comments. If you can help, please, please, anything helps. Even $5 will help. It will help families that need it. I want to help them so bad. I want to help them so bad. And I'm so frustrated, especially just, I cannot believe that they're turning away families with infants. Like, how? how is that even possible how is that happening so please you guys if you can help please do and i will leave it at that thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys soon for the next video which should be a cloth diaper review for those of you that are waiting on that type of video so thanks for watching guys i'll see you soon bye